In this question, we see a E field um, set up by two conducting charge sphere P and Q. Since the lines all are pointing out from the charge sphere, right, both are positive. Okay, and how do we understand right the fact that uh, point X the field strength is zero and relate it to the size of the charges on both spheres? Point X is closer to P. Okay, and we if you draw out the electric field strength right at all these points. Point X being closer to P, right, means that here the um, E field due to charge P managed to cancel out that due to uh, charge Q, okay? Uh, and that, that will mean, right, that charge Q will have a greater charge compared to charge P. And then to the left of the point X, or the E field will be to the right. To the right of point X, E field will be to the left, okay? So just this alone, right, we know the answer. Um, that uh, statement A is wrong. Uh, P is supposed to have a smaller charge, okay, not Q. Uh, what about uh, B? Field strength is always proportional to the distance. This is uh, not correct. The relationship, right, is actually um, nonlinear. So if you look at the graph that I've drawn on the left, the E against R graph, right, is a result of taking the vector sum of both graphs, okay. You can also think about it from, uh, it can also be derived right, from the gradient of V against R graph. So above you see the V against R graph. Each of the contribution is the pink line, okay, combined together, give you the green line. So the gradient of the green line gives you V against R, okay. So V uh, is incorrect. D, uh, D is incorrect as well. We can see from this graph that uh, at this point, uh, which is the turning point of V against R, the grade, the value of potential right, is not zero. Uh, it's actually a positive number. You don't actually have to even look at the graph. You can just deduce. If both charges are positive, any point in that vicinity right, will have two positive numbers adding together. So the potential is always positive. So it cannot be zero. Okay. Uh, and C right, is a consequence of charge Q having greater charge, okay, compared to charge P. So uh, C is correct.